The Material World 30. I read a news article a while ago, which I wanted to briefly discuss. It reported on the stresses of life and how to navigate through them without becoming affected by mental disorders such as depression. One thing which can help a Muslim to achieve this is to understand that every worldly blessing they possess is only a means which should aid them in reaching the hereafter safely. It is not an end in itself. For example, wealth is a means one should use in order to obey Allah, the Exalted, by fulfilling the commands of Allah, the Exalted, fulfilling their necessities and the necessities of their dependents. It is not an end or an ultimate goal in itself. This not only aids a Muslim in maintaining their focus on the hereafter, but it also aids them whenever they lose worldly blessings. When a Muslim treats each worldly blessing, such as a child, as a means to please Allah, the Exalted, and reach the hereafter safely, then losing it will not have such a detrimental impact on them. They may become sad, which is an acceptable emotion, but they will not become grieved, which leads to impatience and other mental problems, such as depression. This is because they firmly believe the worldly blessing they possessed was only a means, so losing it does not cause a loss in the ultimate goal namely, paradise, the loss of which is disastrous. Therefore, still possessing and concentrating on the ultimate goal will prevent them from becoming grieved. In addition, they will understand that just like the thing they lost was only a means, they firmly believe they will be provided with other means by Allah, the Exalted, to reach and fulfill their ultimate goal. This will also prevent them from grieving. Whereas, the one who believes their worldly blessing is the end goal instead of a means, will experience severe grief when losing it, as their whole purpose and objective has been lost. This grief will lead to depression and other mental issues. To conclude, Muslims should treat each blessing they possess as a means to reach the hereafter safely, not as an end in itself. This attitude is demonstrated practically when they use the blessings they have been granted in ways pleasing to Allah, the Exalted, as outlined in the Holy Quran and the traditions of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. This is how one can possess things without being possessed by them. This is how they can keep worldly things in their hands and not in their spiritual hearts. Over 400 free ebooks, audiobooks, infographics, podcasts, and blogs available on our website www.shakepod.com.